वेलकम टू डिस चैनल टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू सी हाउ वी कैन कंपेयर द डेट्स ऑन क्लाइंट साइड विदाउट यूजिंग एनी ग्लाइड डेट एपीआई यस विदाउट यूजिंग एनी एपीआई फॉर दिस पर्पस वी आर गोइंग टू यूज द यूज केस दैट इज वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्प्ले द एरर मैसेज बिलो द फील्ड एंड क्लियर द वैल्यू ऑफ दैट पर्टिकुलर फील्ड इफ द डेट इज इन पास्ट ओके so we are going to use the incident form for this we are going to open incident dot form in capital it will lead us to the form in a new tab now i scroll down now you will see here resolution information in this we have a date field that is called resolve we are going to see what is the back end name of this particular date field it is called resolve underscore at now we are going to use the UI policy for comparing the date of resolved. So click on this three lines and configure. Click on UI policies. It will give all the UI policies related to the incident. We are going to have to create new. Click on new. It will lead us to the new UI policy form. Now enter the description that is called validation. on resolved field okay now when to apply choose that particular field that is called resolved operator we are going to use before today so if the date is in past then we are not allowing the user to fill the date now we are not going to use this particular ui policy when the form is loading so we are going to uncheck this on load check box in this script now we are going to display a message plus clear the value of that particular field and run the script in ui type this is according to your requirement right now we are selecting all firstly we are going to clear the value form dot clear value and uh, back in name of a field resolved underscore at after that we are going to display the message below that field g underscore form dot so field message under which field resolved at what will be the message date cannot be in past next the type of message will be in error that's it format the code and submit the ui policy now the ui policy is created if you want to search you can search but we are going to open the incident form again incident dot form in capital now we will scroll down go to the resolution information section fill the date that is in past okay so we are going to click this okay no as you can see date cannot be in past and we have also cleared the value means our ui policy is working okay so that's how you can compare the dates on client side without using any glide date api hopefully this video will be helpful for you if you have any queries write it query in a comment Until then like the video share the videos and subscribe the channel for more videos like this thank you for watching the video bye bye